it seems a little bit theoretical. So I think that that's kind of the main feedback that I've had that maybe it would help to have a specific example of like how you would go about implementing these a bit more. So, um, and that brings me to a question. I know that we published it on opensource.com. I haven't poked around the chaos website enough to know if it's also, you know, uh, listed there as some as an output of this group or something like that. Um, but I was wondering if there's a possibility that we can do some further promotion or documentation of this so that it's easy to refer to. That's a really good point. Um, without derailing the conversation, I just started the recording so that we have this record. I'm, I'm not sure if we posted the uh, anything on the chaos website, but it's a really good idea. Yeah, I'm just looking, do we have a, because I know we have recent posts, like blog posts, but is there news, like chaos in the news or something like that? Yes, we do have that. Uh, when you're on the website, it's under, yeah on the media page okay and i maintain that i don't think i added our blog post there i should do that okay yeah so that could be a good place and then i wonder if there's um like specifically under the ecosystem working group if there is a place that we can add that blog post or yeah, the news article. What do you call that blog post news article? I don't know. It's an article, I guess. Just an article, <laughs> <laughs> not news. Okay, fine. <laughs> I know it's on the GitHub page or at least that's where Georg initially pushed it. We have okay. a copy of it in GitHub. Yeah. Do we have a but copy that's... of the actual blog post or just the... I think it's just the text, right? Yeah, I think Could the blog be, post yes. is separate. And then we link to it in the blog post where we have the goal question metrics in GitHub. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I think it would be great to put it on our GitHub page specifically, like a link to that article, because it's in a more user friendly format to read and it kind of promotes the work that our group has done. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll take an action item for the media page and then we have an action item for GitHub and the volunteers. Okay. Um, yes, I'll take that on. Is it okay if I put it in the README or is there a better place? I think the README is a good place as a first place okay. that people go to. Perfect. So on the topic of promoting our blog post and chaos, we have the link on the media page. We have the link on our GitHub repo README. Should we cross post the entire blog post on the chaos blog? I'd say it's a uh, good idea. Yeah. What does that mean? Does that mean we would write an article for chaos and just link to the other one that's published? <laughs> the way I, I usually do it is I add a paragraph at the top saying this blog post originally was published on opensource.com and then just copy paste the exact same text. That's smart. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, I think that is excellent. So we'll promote our blog post and continue that. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. What do we want to do next? Oh, uh, the other question was about feedback and making sure our recommendations are implemented. And Nuritzi, you had an idea to, or you, you had said what we have right now seems very theoretical and we need to make it more actionable. Yeah, I think so. We've we've tried to add some bits about how you might record it, but it's still not tangible enough, I think. And I was thinking that writing a blog post about our experience in the Linux App Summit, for example, could be an interesting way to follow up. Um, so it wouldn't necessarily be linked exactly with this working group, but it would be, you know, like somewhat tied to it. So maybe that could be an action item for Shri and I um, is like to follow up and do a post about our experience in the Linux App Summit. And Neo, if you want to contribute to. Yeah, sure. I'll be happy to. Cool. Okay, so I, I think that's an excellent idea um, to write an experience report from implementing the recommendations for the Linux App Summit. And Nuritsi, I signed you up to lead this with Perfect. Shri and Neo. Perfect. I, yeah, I think having an experience report where you go into the specifics on what tools you used and how you use the data and all that would be yeah. really helpful. Exactly. And again, I think that we didn't implement a lot of the recommendations actually um, this time around. And part of it was because like it does boil down to the practical matters of like, when do you collect this data? and like if you're using tools that have limitations, how do you go about that? So um, I think it's good to recognize those so that others, you know, can help us solve for that as well. Yeah, and I think even a blog post saying, hey, we would have really liked to implement this, but these are the challenges that we face. Yeah. That would be exactly. helpful. Right. Yeah, to get everyone's minds oriented and working in the right direction. Exactly. Cool. And then the other thing that I um, that I just thought of right now is that you know we're originally this group started because we wanted KDE and GNOME to you know work together towards creating these metrics for our organizations, and I wonder. I'm now only loosely, uh, you know, volunteering in that I'm helping with the Linux App Summit, but I haven't been as involved with foundation work as I have previously been. And I'm not sure that there is enough of a feedback loop up to the GNOME Foundation itself. Um, Neo, I know you're on the board, but again, I don't know how much of what we've done is actually feeding back into KDE and like all of the, the community there. Um, so that might be something that we take on as an action step two is like trying to get this more publicized and actually adopted within the foundations. Um, yeah. I'm yeah, sure if you have I haven't. I'm, I'm treasurer of the Gnome Foundation, but I'm not on the board. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't reported to the board or anything on what we've done here. Like, I, I don't feel like I've been in this meeting as a represent, representative of the foundation. I've been here as me. Yeah. And same thing with me. And I think, I, I know that Neil knows that um, like Shri and I have been doing this and especially Shri has maintained more communication, but I still don't know if it's been 
reported to the foundation and like, you know, so um, do you have regular communication with them, Sean? Is that something? Yeah. That's uh, I mean, I, okay. I, I attend all the board meetings, so. Oh, okay. Um, but this, this doesn't come into our agendas. Okay. Yeah, from our um, side, I keep, I keep the board uh, like you know, up to date with the milestones we achieve when there's something to share. But yeah, taking this to the community is another step like we haven't done so far. Okay, and I, I wonder if it would help for us as a group to have like a, a milestone meeting with them once we've published a report like this for each of the personas. And then the boards from each foundation can ask us questions or, you know, we can talk about how to implement it. I don't know if that would be useful, um, but Neo, in your case, you know, you have a dedicated marketing team now. Um, they might benefit from being able to ask us questions or, you know, a more in-depth in live report. Um, so I don't know if that's something- We have an, an event organizer as well was also helping with last and maybe Alison has things to share or ask. Yeah, exactly. So action items for this might be, um, do you all want to propose to the boards um, like a meeting between this group and the foundations? or what, what would be best? I don't wanna overwhelm people with meetings also, but just wondering what the best way forward. With the idea, like the goal of this meeting would be like, other than like filling them in on the work we do, do we have a specific, let's say outcome we have in mind? This? I think then maybe it would be about making sure that they've understood the recommendations um, in detail, because I think that just sharing a blog post with people, people might be like, oh yeah, cool, and not actually read through them with the idea of implementing. So the idea would be to like make sure that each foundation has an action plan for how to actually implement it or like next idea, next steps. So I, I really like the idea of having the involvement of the board, having that feedback loop. And I agree with Neil that we, we should have a good meeting outcome in mind because otherwise a report would disseminate the information. But I hear you, Naritzi, that we don't get engagement just by sharing the report. And so, yeah, maybe having a planning meeting where we say, hey, we all know we need metrics. We have this think tank group with the, with the chaos project to think about better ways of having metrics. We have, we have a way of thinking about it that is maybe very helpful. We have some recommendations. So let's schedule a, a online facilitated strategy development meeting. I don't know, I'm coming up with <laughs> fancy words here where we sit down with the board and say, okay, here is a framework that we have started to develop for these metrics. Here are some recommendations, but now the re work is really on you to develop what strategy would be most meaningful, would support the work of the foundation and then we are there as the facilitators of this conversation and the ones, the experts who bring in what can, cannot be done and to refine the plan. Yeah, and I wonder if actually just thinking about um, the follow-up blog post about the Linux App Summit, that might actually be a good way to involve them initially in terms of like, this is something we'd like to take what we've learned from GNOME and KDE conferences this year and see like what metrics we actually did put in place and what we can improve on and understand the challenges in the tools. Can you help us? And that way we get the actual people from the um, from each foundation that helped 
like I, I'm thinking about Christy from GNOME and Allison from um, KDE at least to participate in that and help us think about, you know, again, the tooling challenges and what we were able to do and what we didn't accomplish. And that way it's like a very tangible project of like KDE and GNOME will publish this blog post together about our own events in 2020. Uh, um, <clears throat> optimistic question. Uh, do these people that uh, we'd like to meet with uh, attend FOSDEM, LAS, in, in, or other mm -hmm. events like that in non-COVID times? I think it would be yes. really nice to actually do an in-person meetup of the interested people. <laughs> I know everybody has a ton of things around FOSDEM already. There's already <laughs> chaos con, right? And then everyone's got something with FOSDEM, but I think it'd be really cool. Chaos is not doing anything for Faustum because, as you said, there's already so much going on and chaos. It used to in the before times, right? In the once we go back to in person, we will again okay, because okay, okay. the benefit that chaos gets from being at Faustum is that everyone already happens to be in that location, yes. mm -hmm. and exactly. we can actually pull people in who otherwise would never show up. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that would be virtual, ideal too. Yeah, when it's virtual, there's just too much going on and everyone has Zoom fatigue. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a, if we can identify, um, you know, I do think maybe instead of with the boards, it is really about Christy and, and Allison specifically um, as a first step and then like in terms of writing this blog post, and then we take any recommendations for further steps for how to implement the next wave of metrics, that would be more appropriate to talk to the board about. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was about to suggest that actually that our first feedback look at least would be probably more valuable if done with the event organizers themselves or the people actually involved. So, yeah. To see okay. what value they see in this, what they are missing from that, what challenges they can okay. detect and all that. So then I think that, uh, let me just look at our action item. Um, we just want to modify that. So we'll, we'll still write the blog post and we'll just make sure that we'll involve Allison and uh, Christy. Well, Allison and Christy. Okay. Okay, I just expanded on the action item in the notes. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. Looks like we already have quite a bit of work cut out. Yeah, <laughs> without even diving into a new. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> aye, aye. That's cool. That's good. I, I just think it's so important that we are getting out of the ivory tower and let the rubber hit the road to see that our work is actually having an impact because otherwise, what are we doing this for? <laughs> so that's really great. So do, so the the question then is, do we want to continue focusing on events now and work with um, Allison and Christy, get that report out before we start anything else? Or do we want to in parallel start working on some of the other personas um, and then figure out how to get those <laughs> feedback and involved later? Yeah, I think in parallel would make sense to me. Like so we we don't like 
we don't know in what kind of rhythm Alison and Christy can work with us and when we will be able to produce that. So I guess if we're holding these calls, we might as well start working on other things. And based on what Alison, Christy, and what we all can come up with for the blog post, we can and work on that as well. Yeah, I totally agree. I think we can start a deep dive, deep dive into the next one. But next time, because we only have like not enough time to. I think by the time we got the document started, it would be done. But oh, you could start the document, and we could all stew on it for two weeks until our next meeting, though. If you like that. But I think that's a we great. We can idea. decide the next yeah. topic if that's. Yeah. Yeah. Let me share my screen with the document that we've been working on. Mm -hmm. The goals question metrics document where we started the brainstorming session and then uh, we defined the persona to go matching later. Mm. Excuse me. Um, so here are the event activity organizers. I'm just gonna mark those with green. Let's say that's already well underwire, underway. Other personas that we have are the promotion and communications team, the financial team, the community managers, release managers, coordinators across projects, and mentors. So as a gut feeling, where do you think we can, so we chose the event activity organizers for a specific reason that they had a defined start and end for events. It's easy to start introducing metrics in the planning pro, um, process and then have a reporting at the end. The others were a little bit more challenging at least to start with. Now that we have gone through the exercise, maybe we can tackle one of the more challenging ones. But just as a gut feeling, which ones do you think would be low hanging fruits or something where we can create value for KDE and GNOME quickly? Well, the first thing I would pick is probably promotion and communications teams, but maybe it's because I'm kind of involved in it and I hear people all the time asking for stats and things like that and the value of them and how they can use them. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that um, at least I can probably speak to that more and probably Sri as well. So it could be a, a good one to tackle next. Also, we got feedback from the Linux App Summit that our promotion was not, that, that it could be pro, uh, improved. So um, I think that that's something that would help us. The promotions and communications team also has the benefit, I'm just piling on here, that for marketing, there is already a lot of established metrics and strategies that we can draw from and adapt to open source projects. And the importance of marketing your open source project is something that has been discussed at conference. I've seen many, many presentations on that topic. So I know it's a topic that people care about. Sean, do you have a reaction to the proposal to go with promotion communications team? I think it seems like a good proposal. Okay. Yeah, yeah so the goals there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so diving in, the goals that we had initially thought the promotions and communications team might have is we want to know the health of the community. We want to understand company contributions. 
we need to identify dependencies. We need to identify the diversity and inclusion of our projects. We want to understand the business risk a project could pose to users of the project software and make it easy for companies to choose our project software as a dependency and also understand the collaboration level in our community. And it looks like we had uh, three items that are overlapping and then two we still need to copy in here that were not in the other list, whatever the other list was. So let me find two and four real quick and put that in. Two and four. I'm glad you remember what all these notes mean. <laughs> My brain is like, I don't remember anything. <laughs> Well, we, we had made, we had two different documents where we tried to group them into the um, different personas. And then we, you know, had an overlap issue where some were in both, but others were in only one or the other list. And so here, what I'm bolding are the ones that are in both lists that we had created. So by the process of deciding twice that this is important, maybe these are the ones we can focus on first. That's what we did with the events organizers where we let the ones that were only one of the lists as less important and left those for later and focus on the ones where we agreed those are important. And are we, uh, so there are things here that are, there are goals that are shared between multiple personas. Uh, is it uh, desirable, undesirable, neutral to have different questions for a goal based on the persona? Yes, okay. That makes more sense to me. So it's just, okay. I empathetically say yes. Everyone, they, you might be working towards the same goal, but as someone who is communicating and promoting, you have different questions for how to reach that goal than someone who is working with the people on the ground as a maintainer. Yeah, okay. So going through these goals, um, are there any in addition to the three bolded right now that you think we should for sure talk about next time? Because then I would throw out all the others and not even consider those right now. I think 13 is important. Communicating outwards saying, hey, we are a good project to rely on. Choose us, choose us, me, me, me. Yeah, I would agree. And then it feels like 13 is almost a sub point yeah, I was going to say that. Like 12, is it? Uh huh. And then the same with dependencies. And there's also the one missing, which we have there as a note uh, about the reach of communication and things like that. That usually interests the promoters. Sorry, say that again, please. Which one is missing? the reach of the communication actions we, we take. As you see, we have a note there under the notes that says missing reach of communication and how effective they are. Oh, yes. I think that's also something important for these teams. I'll just add it here. Understand company contributions to me is also something that goes under 13. I'll just propose it. You can.
there just by regrouping <laughs> you're able to narrow it down we have five things that the promotion communications team wants to do one is know the health of the community another is identify diverse inclusion of the project which interestingly is could be separate or we can put it as a bullet point make it easy for companies to choose the project, understand the collaboration level in our community, which goes back to understanding the health and then reach of communication, how effective are the different communication methods that we have. Anyway, I think this is something good to ponder on And are there any thoughts that you have that immediately comes to mind before we dive deep into what the underlying questions could be? It comes up now. I think it's a good, it will help us get a good start going. Okay, then I'll take the action item of creating a document to work in next time. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, anything else? We still have five minutes. I'm going to add a link to the um, just like blank page that I've started for us for the blog post so that at least it's easy for us to keep track of it. Awesome, thank you. Well, then I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you. Bye, everybody. See you all. Bye. Bye.